and I, not being a very smart person, gave Apple my money to do this dream, to make this dream come true of two 5K monitors hooked up to this, and this is the price that I pay. Hey guys, it's 2017, and I'm still having 2016 problems with my MacBook Pro Touch Bar. Right now is a perfect example. I was actually playing a video, and you could tell, well, it's frozen, but there's where I would be scrubbing the video, and I was watching it on these two 5K ultra-fine LG displays. Now, to be fair, I had that going, and this is a 4K display that I usually have hooked up to all of this as well. However, I was doing a little bit of cleaning and I closed the laptop lid for a minute, which, you know, causes the screens to reconfigure, but I opened it back up and, well, it's frozen. So I'm still having some trouble with my 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar, and I thought today would be a great time to tell you a few of those issues and talk about a few of the things that have been resolved. And if you have spent any time on this channel, you've probably seen some of my other videos. If you haven't, make sure to check those videos out as well, because a lot of those issues have been resolved, but I still have people sending me messages saying that they're still struggling with some of those same issues, so I'm curious to know what type of issues you are having. I'm gonna give this computer the old finger Give it the restart by holding that power button down as I have done so many times and waiting for it to die and pressing it again so that it will restart. Hey, while this computer's restarting, let me just tell you, if you are new to this channel, this is a community that is designed for people who love technology and enjoy it to be a little fun. I started this because I feel like a lot of the technology channels are very serious and everyone, you know, very formal. And I wanted something that would be fun for people like me. Now we're gonna send this bird up in the air by pressing up here on the left thumbstick. You have to wonder if uh, somebody's in there or what's going on. So if uh, you like this kind of content, please subscribe, like this video, I really appreciate it. Now let's take a look at some of my MacBook Pro issues. You shut down your computer because of a problem. That's almost like I'm in trouble for shutting the thing down. It should be more like, we're sorry, we had a problem. Uh, but basically, please don't open all those windows, I didn't get to it quick enough. I absolutely hate the reopening of windows. I think that's one of the dumbest inventions ever. If it was just like your phone, it was like nothing ever happened, that would be fine. But the last thing I want to do is go through a restart or a problem and then have 20,000 things open up and just start eating up problems again. And one time, one of the programs that kept reopening was what was causing the trouble. I really hate that. I guess I could disable it. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, this is the man cave and I have a variety of things in here. And one of the things that uh, I pride most is this Blackberry Pi, which always works. But over here I have kind of a window set up and this is powered down there um, with a custom PC that I built. Then here's my Mac setup, which is kind of my daily driver. I have the 2016 uh, touch bar, like specked out to the top except for the hard drive that's the only thing i think i only did one terabyte then these are two 5k ultra wide lg monitors that are designed to you know replace the fact that apple's not doing monitors anymore and i'll do a review on those because they deserve their own review then i have this 4k uh display and basically this is going hdmi to the laptop the two 5Ks are with Thunderbolt 3, and then typically out of the Thunderbolt, what I do is I hook up uh, a couple of, this is an SSD, and this is a, a big four terabyte backup. And so I have all of that kind of running on this system. So if you watch some of my earlier videos, you probably know some of the problems that I had, but basically this thing was crashing all the time. I took it to Apple, I talked to people from Apple, and tried to do everything I could do to make sure that there wasn't something actually wrong with the computer. As they have had updates, things have gotten better. Now the majority of problems that I find, for me at least, have to do with plugging and unplugging monitors. And this is especially frustrating considering some of the monitors I use are the ones that Apple has recommended and sell and even I bought from Apple. Now at my office we have the LG Ultra Wide uh, curved displays. I have two of those, they're Thunderbolt 2, and I've had trouble getting them to link via Thunderbolt. Normally you could come Thunderbolt out of the computer into one and then daisy chain. 
that hasn't worked for me at all yet. I have to spend more time with it. Uh, Ryan and Donovan got that to work at one point, but I haven't got it to work yet. So in the man cave, the setup that I wanted to do was what I called the Tim Cook Special. He showed in the presentation having these awesome two 5K displays, still having your touch bar open, and he had some cool speakers on both sides, but uh, I decided to do the little Bose speakers, and I have my cool speakers over there for the keyboard. So this is kind of what Apple sold me would be a great idea, and this is what I did. So where does the rub come in? Well, for the most part, these things work great. However, with a laptop, I'm constantly moving. I'm going to the office. I'm going somewhere. I'm taking it with me. And this is where the problem comes in. Let me show you. Okay, so these are the two cables that hook up the monitors. One is turned upside down, so that's why you don't see that. Now, say I unplug one cable. It reconfigures itself. And eventually, we will have at least one monitor working. There we go. So now we have this, one of the LGs, and that's back. Say that I plug this back in. Okay, now it's going to say, hey, I now have that monitor, so let me turn that monitor back on. Uh, well, maybe nothing's going to happen. Let's try it again. You have a new monitor, dummy. Okay. Well, that's weird. Okay, so let's unplug that one that we've been plugging up. Let's unplug the other one. Now, all it has are those two monitors. To be fair, let's unplug this. So, just the laptop. So now I'm gonna take one of these LGs, we're gonna plug it in. What will happen? All right, we got one back, and usually I can get one back. Now let's plug in this. So now we should reset, and I should have one, two, three. But it never happens. Now, if I unplug the, the first one, leave it with just this one, usually it will be able to do that. The moral of the story here is basically every time I change anything, or I leave and unplug the computer and come back, this computer will only power one of these LG 5K monitors at a time. It doesn't matter which one, which cable you can plug and plug. The only way to get it to power two is to plug two in, which if it makes some of you people feel better who get freaked out, I'm gonna turn this upside down just like the first cable and plug it in. And then the trick is to go up here and go to restart and restart the computer. Okay, so now behind me, up come the monitors. It's a modern day miracle, but it's because I restarted the dang computer. Why, why, why? in 2017. These are supposed to be, this is the Tim Cook special. He showed this at an Apple event and this was the ultimate and I bought into it. And I, not being a very smart person, gave Apple my money to do this dream, to make this dream come true of two 5K monitors hooked up to this and this is the price that I pay every time I come home, I have to take this monitor or this laptop, I have to type in my password because of course you can't, you know, use your fingerprint after it restarts and I have to restart whatever I had open, I have to close all my crap, restart it to get this and then sometimes if you plug them in the wrong way or whatever, well now we have a random snowy mountain. That's not what I want. I wanted to have my same background so I spend a lot of time Restarting, plugging the monitor in, doing that. I've looked and it's hard to find other people who have two of these displays, but if there's someone out there with two, let me know if you're having this trouble. I have also read a lot about some issues that people are having with single displays and they seem to be uh, having to do with Wi-Fi. There were some articles out earlier this month uh, showing that maybe Wi-Fi was causing interference with these monitors or with the cable of the monitors and uh, I haven't had any problems like that. Basically, this is my problem. It's hooking them up. Uh, maybe I have no clue. I don't even know. So if you have an idea 
let me know down in the comments. I also will be doing a review on these monitors. I actually like these monitors. I actually love this computer. I just wish they would fix the things that are wrong with it uh, and that would make my life better. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please, 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 if you like this kind of content, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And check out my other videos and check out the Man Cave Technology Show where me and two other guys that own this computer talk about all the problems and issues that we have had with it, but we still like it and we still pay for it and we still use it. I mean, as many crash, I'm really not having a lot of crashes anymore. I mean, are you, how are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine on the crashes. Uh, to, to speak on what Adam said about putting it to sleep, very interesting if you, if you have it plugged in. Uh